Hello friends, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. In this lecture, we'll study a question on operating system that will be useful to you in your preparation for GATE Computer Science, Bank IT Officer Exam and UGC NET Computer Science Exam. So this question appeared in GATE 2017 and it will be very useful if you understand the concept of deadlocked state using Banker's Algorithm. I'll tell you a short way of solving this question so let's get started with it. The question is, the system shares nine tape drivers. The current allocation and maximum requirement of tape drivers for three processes are given to you, P1, P2, P3. Which of the following best describes the current state of the system? So the total uh, tape drivers that you are told are nine. Okay, total tape drivers are nine, which is given to you. And how many are allocated? The total allocated drivers are allocated drivers would be 3 plus 1 plus 3 which is 7. Okay. 3 plus 1 plus 3. Now we have to find out the need of each process. By need I mean that if this is the maximum requirement and these much of the tape drivers are allocated to each process respectively. So how much maximum tape drivers a process needs more to complete its execution. So if I calculate need of P1, need of P1 is its requirement minus its allocation which is equal to 4. Similarly, need of P2 is equal to its requirement 6 minus its allocation 1 which is 5 and need of P3 is equal to 5 minus 3 and it is equal to 2. So P3 requires 2 more tape drivers to complete its execution. P2 needs 5 more tape drivers and P1 needs 4 more. So if total are 9, allocated drivers are 7, so free tape drivers. Currently, the drivers that are not allocated are 2 in, okay? So these are 9 minus 7. So if there are 2 non-allocated or free tape drivers, then we can use these tape drivers to allocate it to a process that needs 2 or less than 2 tape drivers to complete its execution and we can clearly see here that P3 is a process that needs two more resources or two more tape drivers to complete its execution. So initially we allocate two, allocate two tape drivers to P3 and after it has completed its execution it will return these allocated two tape drivers as well as those that were initially allocated to it. So later on completion it will return P3 would return 3 plus 2 that means 5 tape drivers. Okay now how many tape drivers are free with us after completion of P3 free tape drivers that we have are 5 in nature 5 in number so we can allocate 5 tape drivers to either P2 because P2 needs 5 more for completion or we can allocate it to P1 as and where as you choose you can choose any out of P1 and P2 I am choosing P2 so I allocate now the required five tape drivers to P2 and later when P2 completes it returns to me these five tape drivers plus the initial one that was allocated to it so it returns six tape drivers after it has completed okay so after P2's completion total Three tape drivers that are left with me are six in number. Now, total I have six tape drivers and I need P1. P1 needs four tape drivers to complete. So, allocate four drivers to P1 
for its completion and when P1 completes it will return these four along with the three that were allocated to it. That means it will return uh, all the seven tape drivers and now we are left with three tape drivers equal to seven. Alright. Mm, there is has to be a mistake. Alright, so this was a sequence in which all the three processes got their required number of tape drivers and they completed their execution. So what was the sequence that was followed? I followed the sequence P3, P2 and P1. You could have also chosen the sequence P3. P3 would come at the beginning because it requires two tape drivers that were initially free. Then you can choose P1 before P2. So this state is a safe state and this state is not deadlocked because it is uh, it, the resources or the tape drivers are allocated in such a way or they are required in such a way by the different processes that we can meet the requirements of all the processes in one sequence or the other. So that's all for today's lecture. If you understood the question, please like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more such tutorials. And please mention in the comment section below, how did you find the video? Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our channel. Good luck.